Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's apply the concept of torque to a simple crane like this. Notice the crane is attached to the post or to the wall. I think better to a wall because it's a very heavy crane handling very heavy loads. Notice that there's a hinge at the top portion here called that joint A and there's just a, a support there B. That means that the, the crane can hinge about A and is supported against B. What we're trying to do here is find the force at A and find the force at B. Now the force at B can only be a horizontal force, F sub B, but the force at A can be both a horizontal and vertical force. I would assume that the horizontal force will be in this direction, force at A, and the vertical force will be in this direction, force at A. Now this is force at A in the X direction, this is force at A in the Y direction, this is force at B in the X direction, there's only an X direction for force B. Since we don't know, since there's two directions here, what we're going to do here is put the pivot point at that location, right there, and we're going to sum up all the torques about point A. The sum of all the torques about point A is equal to zero because everything is in equilibrium. Now let's see, what else do we have? We have a force here. Let's call that big mg because we're holding a very heavy mass here and let's call this the small mg. That's the weight of the crane. Notice that the center of mass of the crane is more to the left than to the right because it's probably heavier at the bottom and lighter near the top. Let's go ahead and sum up all the torques and see what we get. First of all, we'll take the big mg. Zero is equal to and that will give us a clockwise torque, that's a negative torque, minus big mg times the distance from there to there, that's times 8.4 meters, minus the small mg, mg, multiplied times this distance, which is 1.8 meters. Those are the perpendicular distances from the point of rotation to the line of action of the force. See, the line of action of the force, and this is the perpendicular distance, line of action of the force, perpendicular distance. Now we need to, since we have the, the uh, pivot point at A, now we have to deal with the force at B. That will give us a counterclockwise torque, which is a positive torque, plus the force at B, multiplied times the perpendicular distance from the line of action of the force to the pivot point, that's this distance right here, which is 1.2 meters. Now we have everything we need to solve for F at B. F at B times 1.2 meters is equal to, moving this to the other side, we get big Mg times 8.4 plus little Mg times 1.8. And then if we divide both sides by 1.2, we can now solve for F at B. Plugging in the numbers, we get big mass, that's 10,000 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared times 8.4 plus little mass which is 5,000 not so little but little compared to the load times 9.8 and times a distance of 1.8 meters and the whole thing divided by 1.2. Now with a calculator we can find the force at B. That would be 10,000 times 9.8 that's 98,000 98,000 times 8.4, add to that the quantity 5,000 times 9.8 times 1.8 equals, and then divide by 1.2 equals, and we get a total force at B in the x direction of 759,500 newtons. That is simply the torque caused by these two weights the weight of the crane plus the weight of the load, trying to push the crane this way, and B prevents that from happening. So that requires a force of 759,500 newtons. Now the force at A. What we can do here is we can put the pivot point at B now. Or what we can also say is we can look at all the forces in the X direction, and there's only two. We can then say that the sum of the force in the x direction add up to zero. That's probably the easiest way to do it. We could, we could have put the pivot point here and then solve for force of A in the x direction, but it's simpler simply to add the force in the x direction. This is equal to the force at B in the positive direction minus the force at A in the negative direction. That tells us that the force at A in magnitude is equal to the force at B 
the force at A in the X direction is equal to the force at B in the X direction, simply opposite in direction, but these are simply the magnitudes, and therefore we can say that's also equal to 759,500 newtons. And finally, the force at A in the vertical direction. Again, we can say that the sum of all the force in the Y direction add up to zero. That means that the minus 5,000 kilograms multiplied times g minus the 10,000 kilograms multiplied times g plus the force in the in at a in the y direction they should add up all to zero which means that the force at a in the y direction is equal to when you add those two together move to the other side that becomes 15,000 kilograms times g which is equal to 15 thousand times 9.8 equals that's 147,000 newtons 147,000 newtons that is the entire weight of the crane and the load being held up by the pin at a preventing the whole crane from falling down and that's how we find the forces at a and b using our techniques where we sum up the torques about a pivot point and sum up all the forces in the x direction and all the forces in the y direction and that's how it's done